So hi guys, back again. Now yesterday we just ran out of time to get the Land Rover 90 in the spray booth because we had a few little tiny jobs, a few bits of details I wanted to have done before we got it in. But uh, we're back, it's uh, morning, nice and early, and behind me you can see the 90s in the booth ready to go. Now I just thought I'd run around quickly before we start painting just to show you how the vehicle's been masked up. And, and this is gonna be useful for you guys because you may be thinking about painting your own vehicle whether it's with a compressor and a spray gun, or we've actually doing it with a Raptor, or maybe even using a rattle can. Just some of the little tricks and techniques that we've used to master the Land Rover up will help you get a really nice finish. Now, whenever you've got the opportunity, uh, back masking is quite a nice little trick, because for instance, here where we've taken the, uh, the lights out here, the uh, indicator and the side lights, we've used uh, two inch masking tape and, and put it on from the back. So you can see there, it's actually masked from the inside. Then we've used uh, masking paper, scrunched up and pushed into the voids where the lamps would go. That stops any dust from coming out. Um, and also, obviously, we don't need to paint in that area, so that's all left. And the idea is we want to try and minimise, because it's an old vehicle, it's going to have a lot of dust. It's been indoors for about three weeks now while we've been working on it. So, of course, any mud on there is dried out and that's going to be quite loose. So, obviously, we give them a good clean. They've obviously blown out outside as well to make sure that you know, we've got the majority of it off. But we don't want areas where we're putting paint to be uh, dust or grit or anything like that coming in and sort of uh, affecting the paint finish. So basically what they've done here is you can see this tape has been taped onto the inside face of the tub and then it's tacky on the top here so that when they lay the sheet on top they can just pile it onto the edge there like that. The guys are going to put another, another piece of tape all along there just to make sure that everything's sealed off. So it's a good simple uh, technique. It does make sure that everything's sort of covered and it also eliminates any dust that's in the vehicle maybe that's gonna go uh, on the paintwork which we don't want. So the guys here, we're uh, using some panel wipe now just to wipe everything down. That sort of gets rid of dust um, and also anti-static and then we're gonna be ready to uh, mix up the paint and throw it on. We're gonna start warming the boots in a minute but the first thing to do uh, is get a little bit of etch prime on the exposed metal areas like we did before on the interior and that goes for the new rivets as well uh, they've all got to be etch primed as well so guys now just quickly zipping around and making sure that everything's got either primer or etch primer on it okay here we go Okay, so we're all done. The paint's on, it looks fantastic. We had to bake off a little bit in here, nice and warm. Um, the repairs look really tidy, so I'm really pleased how they come out because you can always really notice things when uh, the gloss paint goes on. It's a lot more noticeable, but I'm pleased to say that they look fantastic. So, come back again soon. We're gonna be posting next week when we start building the Land Rover 90 up, and you'll start seeing how the heritage is coming together. Thanks for watching.